Yeah, what was your inspiration for making this game? Or these two games? So, you know, I started playing Dungeon and Dragons when I, when I was, you know, very young. Uh, you know, pen and paper yeah. Dungeon and Dragons. That, that kind of where it started for me. And, uh, and then in 96, I started playing as a beta tester for Ultima Line. And that's where it really started to feel you know where i felt that I this is the type of game too, that i would like to do in the future uh, so i played a lot of mmorpgs bye bye. that i'm inspired from and and a few of them like i said ultima line the first one heavily inspired from that game star wars galaxies oh, gave me a lot of inspiration as well um and I, i've tried tried a lot of mmos after that but there's never really been something that kind of offers the depth and complexity and freedom that we're looking for in this game so um well yeah. i'm glad you're making it can you res my horse Eric? thank you, thank you. no <laughs> faxil and, and you need to come oh, down okay, faxil no. or i have to uh send you out of mortal as well mortal 2. okay Harry, i tried it's, it, it's, yeah. it's nice i don't want to be you, double banned do you oh. how you how you you express that you used to play which online and i just recognized that the houses it's a lot like like which one like that the player yeah, houses, it's, you know? it's true yeah it just it just felt like a nostalgia playing and seeing that it's amazing yeah and you know that that that's uh that's a good good eye you have there's some yeah. inspiration and a small little uh, you know we're tying it a little bit so you can recognize a little bit of it, so that's true. Yeah, for sure. It's hey! It's, it's uh, Mr. Uh, hey, Pat, for a PTZ? Mr. Man, son, could you move, please? Any patch for a PTZ? What? Any patch <laughs> for a PTZ? PTZ? Yeah, I have it. You, you, you gave me the key. Kitten? Yeah, kitten. Okay. What about it? Any patch for that this game? No, kitten is finished. Oh, I love my my cats. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, we just Henrik, right um, yeah. what about thieving? <laughs> Will it come? We just do anytime a soon? Explosion wipe right thieving. now. Thieving, right? <laughs> yeah, thieving is off the release. Oh, nice. Henrik, is it just true wait, you're adding be carpentry? Just in the first ten seconds. Kitten is a great game. Henrik, is it true you're adding carpentry to the game and we can make furniture for people? Yes, yeah, so we, we, we have already prepared furniture crafting as a profession. We, we just have a little bit left until we can, you know, fully enable it. And uh, cartography is uh, a, a profession as well that we can add later. Right now we're adding some of the maps from that system because we want the players to get a rough map of Milan when, when they enter Milan to stop doing some rough navigation as well. Amazing. Yeah. Hey I'm Henrik, you talked about spear stance earlier. Are you going to add all the different combat skills from World War One? Like, I think there's like overhead strike and uh, there's some like dual strike or something too. Yeah, so we, we added, uh, you know, the different direction of striking. So we already have a overhead strike so obviously it can't be the same uh, but we do plan to add um, specific special moves for every weapon group we have that you know as additional tactics used for the different weapon groups like a combo or something hey like were that? the moto online spell components were they inspired by dungeons and dragons just a random question yes oh, uh, it was so the first school ecumenicus is heavy inspired from ultima ah. line uh, but Amazing. most of the other schools are actually quite heavily inspired by the old classic pen and paper dungeon and dragons. Oh wow, dude, that's so awesome! I actually have a lot of like um, a dungeon dragons fans watching right now, and and they they they're the ones that told me to ask that, so they're very happy to hear that. Yeah, I I have all the boxes from from that time era, very old boxes, and I I, I went through all of those when when I was designing these things, so I have a, a lot of inspiration from that. That is so awesome, dude. That's so awesome. Game. Hey. How old are you? Why is Satan sure if you sell those boxes, boxes you shoes. make a lot of money on eBay, but don't sell it. Keep it. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're go old golden corns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this game is. I'm giving this game the nickname right now, D and D, the game. <laughs> no, this is Mortal Online 2, the best MMO in MMO history. Yes, Why true. is it yeah, yeah. made true, with true. But it's pretty much D and D. 
uh, uh, mix of D and stuff like 3D. that. So Henrik, is is this the final? Do you guys have plans to change the lighting at all before release, or are you waiting for Unreal Five before you tweak yeah, the lighting yeah. anymore? Yeah, no. what's up? Man? What's We're up quite minus? happy with the base where it is. You know, there's a few areas where we struggle a little bit, where the engine is not working perfectly with us. But like you said, Unreal Five completely changed that system, so we don't want to spend too much time when we know we will yeah, yeah, go sense. over. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I was talking about that. You don't need to do the work twice. Henrik, look this yeah, side, exactly. dude. Stop spazzing, Bruxa. I mean, I hope you didn't answer that. 100 <laughs> I, I, I think we, I think we done a good job in squishing out the juice out of this engine. I mean, the graphics and lighting in this game, I think it looks very awesome. You I'm can... saying, I, I think the game really just needs like a solid Weber system. I know it's definitely not high in the priority list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like that's the one thing this game is missing. I, I agree, yes, I agree. The, we will uh, have the weather system uh, along with Unreal 5 as well. There's some cool function that we can utilize in a much uh, efficient yeah, way. <laughs> Mortal 2 will be able to dominate Lictos? No, Fax, do you know this? What kind of question is that? <laughs> yeah, come, on. come on, come on, Bruxo. Come what on. kind of cons? Come on, man. Get your shit together, buddy. Hey, hey, Henrik, I have you... a question about the weather system. How deep will it affect what you wear? So on Milan, uh, you won't get heavily affected by the heating system. Uh, I mean, there's a few things that get affected by wind, for instance. Obviously, right. also visibility, you know, there would be more rough fog, wind, uh, right. storm that makes it look less, you know, f further. And right. uh, we also have an effect on some of the park tiles, which means if you're trying to shoot an arrow in a heavy storm, it could actually fly on the side. Oh, yes, yes, that's... Oh, What's wow. the size of your feet? Hey, hey guys, I got a it, question. It, it gotta... brings me to the next question. So, like, if I'm on a boat What's and there's a the heavy size storm, of your feet? I have to be careful with what I use and what oh. I wear. Is that correct? For In what case? Sorry, I didn't hear. If I'm on a, uh, in a ship traveling in a storm, like, you know, going distance, does it matter? Like, I can't just shoot an arrow and I have to make sure I'm wearing proper clothes. Is this accurate? Yeah, it, it depends on, on the heat system. So, like I said, on Mirland, it's not going to go extreme. But as soon as you leave right. Mirland, it's going to start getting extreme, which means if you want to be effective, you need to take care of what you're wearing as well. Right, 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 right. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Gotcha, gotcha. You, you What's the size of your feet? Um, with the whole heavy storm thing in ships, would it be, would heavy storms be able to capsize ships? Uh, say again? Would ships be able to be capsized as in they get flipped over and destroyed um, by uh, heavy storms and massive waves? Yeah, it's too early to say if that would be something that happened. Uh, we're gonna start with a quite complicated weather system which you use to navigate and control your boats. You have to learn how to read, you know, the wind blowing and use the sails in, a, in, a, in the right way, just as in real life. So it's gonna be quite complex. So there system. are gonna be independent sailing companies, for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any plans for some publicity or advertising? I only found out about the game through Twitch. I think a lot more people need to know about this amazing game. Absolutely, absolutely. I agree. And, uh, you know, that is one of the things that we struggle as, as a very small company. Uh, you know, those giants, just look at New World. Obviously, everyone knows about that game because they're spending Ew, billions. World. They're spending billions Mom. on marketing. They're also Amazon. They're a giant, right? You yeah, know, you comparing hard. us with them is like a needle in the haystack uh, in terms of size and resources. So obviously, it's not an easy thing for us to do that kind of marketing. And one very powerful and big component is actually player, you know, mouth uh, to mouth, uh, making awareness, spreading it, talking about it. So you guys are actually doing a big part when it comes to making awareness of the game. And it helps us very much. Uh, on top we of that, are your um, publicity. <laughs> we are your advertising company. Well, Henrik, you should be, you should be proud because you like say em. you guys are small compared to New World and Amazon, but you guys have made something which holds way more weight than what they did with New World. So definitely, you know, pat yourselves on the back. The clear difference that you guys are way more passionate than those guys are, you know. Of course. Yeah, I, I thank you for, for, for seeing that. You're yeah. in it for oh. making gaming history. <gasps> 
Real quick, is there oh, any, Hendrick, any Hendrick, concern Can you help if me? the game releases oh. and the player base is overpopulated and the, the map lags really bad? Like, how many people can the game hold without it lagging if it if it overpopulates when Just the game releases? People. Will it be so, playable? Yeah. So so the the natural limitation right now actually happens at the, at the client side before anything else so so that means obviously if hundreds of players are showing up here which obviously yeah, players right, can, can can decide to do that that means that's going to be a strain on especially all the computers naturally right we don't we don't limit limit how many players you can see because if players decide to come up here it's going to be a strain if so so that means if you really think it's a struggle to be in certain towns because there's way too many players then obviously it's a one option is to Pick a new town or move away from it if you think it's too unbearable. Uh, so obviously we're trying to do our best to expand the land because we're expecting a lot of players. And uh, you know, if if the majority of the cities and hubs and players feel that it's, it's so many players that the performance is always struggling, then obviously we're trying to push to second continent as soon as we can to help offload that. So there will be no lock cap, like like when the game releases, if we get 8,000 people, it won't be locking us out, like no, capping at 8,000. Our, our, our cap is on 105,000, so you're quite Oh my oh, god, nice. 105,000? Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. But like I said, Amazing. imagine... So no logging queues, right? So we have built out uh, the, the start to be... Uh, Quite different from the stress test, which means we can Just accept push people. Uh, pretty much all players simultaneously without a queue initially. But as soon as you start going into Maryland and especially going to these hubs, that's where it's going to be a strain for the, for the server and clients eventually. So that is what we need to monitor. If that number is continually increasing, it gets worse and worse until players actually see that, okay, now it's getting uh, unbearable. That's where we need to. We are already talking to Val at Steam to actually pause sales if that happens to be out of control. Wow! So, but we'll still be able to play the game at that point if it did. The people yes, that everyone that anyone, anyone that had bought the game will be able to play, uh, play the game. Uh, it's just that we may have to pause so no new ones are able to buy it. So you guys should be fine because I already have it here. Next question: nice. Will there be uh, more horse spawns when the game comes out, or is this it that we see the, now? There will be a few more horse spawns. So the thing is, most people don't—they are not aware of how many there are. There are seven hundred, over seven hundred right now. Oh wow! Uh, it's know. just that they are respawning slowly, and some people are constantly killing them because they don't want people to get them. Uh, we're, we're tweaking those numbers, spreading them oh, additionally yeah. a bit more as well. Uh, so it will change a little bit. Well, we appreciate what you guys are doing. You're doing well, a great uh, job. Also, so I just want to let you Thank know, you. Uh, the Draken Ogina armor looks sexy. Wait. Yeah, we don't we don't know about that, the Midas, okay? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. I don't know nothing about that. I don't know nothing about that. We don't, we don't, we don't know about that currently. <laughs> no. I, I have a quick that. question. Yeah, don't fall in here. What? Uh, I have a quick question. Ah! You have the for the I'm gonna update the roadmap after release uh, when we awesome. can breathe, hopefully. Just ah! as well, yeah, I, My question is uh, Will there be any in game way of seeing uh, the announcement if there's a temporary lockout? I'm just imagining situations with uh, new players coming in with their friends, then one of them gets in but the other doesn't, but they have no way of you know knowing why the other one can't you know buy the game or get in. Yeah, Good question. So Yes, when we when, if if we if we have to pause sales, we need to obviously make an announcement that you know right now there's a big pressure. We need to pretty much protect protect the server and the current players. So we need to do a pause, and we won't know how long that will last for. It all depends on the pressure, right? So initial release, <clears throat> we're expecting a a crazy amount of natural gaming sessions, but that usually you know goes back to normal wow. after certain amounts of hours or you know over time. And that's when we can reopen the, the sales. <laughs> talking to uh Thora and I was like, dude, give me one floor from the castle. I just want to decorate the whole thing. And he's yeah, like, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really nice. Yeah. 
actually brings me up to this question. Will there be oh. um deck uh not deck furniture that is functional like sitting or uh, I don't know yes, maybe yes, uh, yes. okay okay. So shares we 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 tried to make it before release but we simply didn't mm -hmm. have time. We have to prioritize right. some other things. But yes, right. you will be able to soon uh, sit on, on 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 tables and use some of those functions. And we also want to add some additional bonus. For instance, a bed. If you log out on your bed when you right. quit playing for the night, you're gonna log in the next day with a little bonus. Uh, oh. Some some can be a bonus on resource. Some can be a bonus on you learn skills a little bit faster the first time. Wait, hour. is it resource? Nice. Resource? Like resources? Uh, reserves. Oh, reserves. Bonus on resource. Oh, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. And, okay. And learning skills, you have a small bonus as well. Oh, nice! And will there be an actual animation of like us sleeping on the bed, like I'm a one when you guys slept at the campfire? Yeah, yeah. We will try to make oh, a little yeah. uh, animation where you lay down, you know. Right. So oh wow, really that, that, that is amazing. Because yeah. I can tell you, in persistence reserves are going to be so important, and like sleeping or resting is probably going to be one of the most used mechanics to get yeah. it up. Yeah. Hey man, what's the word on uh, poisons for arrows and stuff? Uh, don't have a, a really estimate timeline right now. We we know that we want to have poison and assassin like skills, uh, but right. I can't say right now when. Alright, cool. Thank you. Um, I I do know for hundred percent for persistence when there's wipe. Obviously, Star Wars is gonna uh, hunker down on like making sure there's no like exploits. I do know you guys just fixed the dupe thing for the chest, so that's awesome. And, and I'm guessing you guys want to make sure that for release, it's, everything's gonna be on like perfect like. Yeah, I mean, we're doing our best there. People are being very helpful in terms of testing, uh, submitting bugs, reports. Right. Uh, that's super helpful, and that is what the beta is all about. So, awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, awesome. I reported many bugs. Did you report what? Many bugs. Very good, very good. Very, very good. Nice, nice. But not the dupes. If you don't, you, you will be permanently banned. You know that, you know? No, 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 no. Snap the finger, Henrik. Snap ah! it. Snap it. <laughs> Get him out of here. You don't have to do this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one question, Henrik. Or is there anything planned for old OG MO1 players, maybe? You're not special. Get out of here. You're not special, bro. Something special, I don't know. <laughs> Some cape or <laughs> you're not getting anything. Okay? You're not getting nothing. I, I mean, you, you do have a big head start, right? With knowledge and and all that yeah, right, information, right. very sure. powerful for sure. You have a very good head start in, in that for sure. Uh, there, there's there's one little thing that we uh, plan to add when we have a little bit more time. That also is you know something that you will see as a veteran. Okay. Um. I know I asked this before, I'm just gonna say it one more time because I really love this question. In the future, will there be a mechanic added where like, if I want a hundred gambling games, can I go to a crafter and only get something crafted just for me? Because I got, I won that. Or like anybody that's won X amount or like, you know, something to just like, oh wow, this guy's looks cool. Like He's definitely a gambler or a, or a fisher or a miner. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I mean. Uh, like, okay, you ever played RuneScape? Very little. I never okay. got to play that. I played Ultima Line all the way. Okay, when when you got max level in RuneScape, they gave you like a skill cape. So I'm mm -hmm. not saying a skill cape, but what I'm saying is maybe when you get achievements, high tier achievements, will you get cosmetics that are only pertain to you? Differentiate you from like the rest. Yeah, I mean, what we plan to do, a lot of those right. things are actually where you gain high yeah, blah, standings blah, 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 with blah, the different blah, nations blah, blah, blah. that actually okay. unlocks also very specific that no one else can know oh object. yes Hen henrik yes henrik, isn't it mm -hmm. like 4 a.m for you shouldn't you be in bed it is actually i'm a little bit over to you any uh, too good to us man any, to us? any plans for bonded pets henrik or pets that may <gasps> live or resurrect with you uh, we don't plan right now to implement resurrection of your pets, uh, and it's also because we we're careful about the resources again, demand, supply on on mounts, pets, and and resources. So uh, currently we're not we don't plan to, uh, oh, to know. resurrect them. How about summoning magic like necromancers don't or anything? Sorry. 
Necromancer, like summoning skeletons or like that type stuff. Yeah, it, we with promise the, you a bunch of things and it will never be released. With with the Necromancer school, uh, which is the next school we're adding, um, that that is a school when it comes to raising <laughs> the dead, building dead as pets. Awesome. Yep. Are you adding a DL DLSS or uh, FSR? We have DLSS already. Oh, okay. FSR, in, uh, though? Video well, options. Probably can't question. do both. Uh, so, it depends on uh, the uh, AMD parties. Uh, we we will implement those support that is um, suitable in the engine. Henrik, um... Just a quick question. Uh, crushers for keeps, will that ever be a thing? Uh, crushers with TC will most likely be possible. <laughs> what about the portable ones? Sorry, which one? Uh, the portable crushers and grinders. Uh, we will see which one that may be um, an option for TC. Alright. Tell, tell me you're not. Thank you. Tell, okay, tell me you're not going to add. Sorry. Tell me you're not going to add mines anymore, right? No mines? Yeah, there's a few things, you know, that we tried in the first game that <laughs> didn't turn out as we wanted them. So, there's going to be some yeah. changes for that. Oh, yeah, I, was I was writing... insanely rich with mines. Insanely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Data leaks. Yeah. Data leaks. Sorry. One, one Wait, last can question. I say something? Uh, I didn't say uh, anything, man. Uh, <laughs> I was riding by the colored forest and I saw a couple of... Uh, like five houses where they had settlements and i was like this is actually really nice people can make their own settlements will there be a system where there's like six houses together can we build roads between them so it looks like an actual like little mini village or whatever maybe add a well campfire maybe this is not fucking life is though. roads or what did you say uh so basically there's like six houses and there was like a stronghold right in the middle but it was all grass in between them you, you know you would think maybe a small village would have like roads can you, is that something that's doable? Mm. We got that uh, request in the first game as well to add tools for people to build roads and stuff like that to add yeah. to their cities. Uh, it's something we're going to see if it's possible this time around with TC. Uh, right. Again, it comes down to performance, right, which is right, one right. of the big things. So we will see. You think, you think, you think. Uh, I'm just really curious about uh, the earthquake spell. I saw when I came back that it the, the cost got upped on it. To include an opal, yep. will will that be reverted for the launch? Maybe when the spell isn't so uh, widely available. So uh, we, oh. we plan some of those spells to be more costful. <gasps> the balance and cost was quite cheap in some of those powerful spell, and it was also a spell that people used to go in naked, do an earthquake on bank, kill everyone, and laugh. Um, okay. So right now it's more you know restricted. You don't want to maybe waste that on something silly. You want to use that on dismounting people or specifically when you need an earthquake more. So uh, there's also a way to get those regions in a more efficient way when people learn how to that how that works. But initially it's going to be, you know, more more common use, I would say. Um, will there be like mines or like, uh, you know, PVE resources where like it's nation owned? Or only people with good alignment can enter, and then maybe if there's battle and then another nation takes over it, and the people from that nation can take it. Does that in, make sense? In what in what area you said? <clears throat> like, let's say there's like a mine you guys add, but it's nation owned, so only Tindrimic people can enter with good standing. Um, will, will will like will that be available? And like, if Curite took it over, and then only people from no! Curite. Curite. <laughs> Shit. Who the hell God is damn! Screaming? Your mic just blew up. <laughs> Yeah, nation conflicts is what that is. So okay. again, you, you will be able to sign up for the different nation conflicts and participate in those wars and takeovers or different type of missions. Oh, <laughs> resource assets and stuff is what I meant really, not just mines. Like resource assets and stuff like that. It's oh. rainy, man! Hallelujah. Tell us about the assassin Rain skill mess. and the traps and stuff you mentioned. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few skills that we're going to add uh, that allows you to become more of a, an assassin. 
you'll be able to use skills poisoning, abstract poisoning, apply poisoning and more effectively on specific weapons. Um, and you'll be able to use that in both PvE and PvP. Oh, and, I can um, see your pants. And yeah, trap, trap making, um, pretty much what it says, you, you will be able to construct different types of traps, place them in certain uh, locations and um, those effects will obviously have different types of effects on out of players and, and PvE as well. I can see our pants! Henrik, will we see more graphical options, like ah. being able to turn off film grain and blue? Oh. Uh, we will see what kind of options that we ah. may add to options. Uh, again, we want to ah. build the game to kind of look how we ah. intend it to look, but obviously we want to be able Ooh. The players to scale it as well, depending on the hardware they are using. Um, yeah, and just a work in progress. We add something every now and then, optimize different areas. We'll have NFT. It's not uh, allowed by Steam. Okay. And I'll decide. Because it's good. Uh, uh. You know, you made my day when you say that you were inspired by Ultimate. Oh, did you just tame this horseman? Yes, I did. Would you like it back? It, it, it was, um, it was this guy. It was this guy. He just... Oh, my God. Thank you. I went AFK in the bank for one second. Inside information. I think of accessing that because of the security reasons, so, uh... The trick is part yeah, I'm, 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 there's I, not much it was, we can uh, do the other horse than mine. pass that on to Epic Games. You could just trade a so horse? They would do a patch and help us That's fix it for those customers. It's strange Thank also you that so only much, a few man. ones Thank you, man. get Thank some you. of those issues while the majority oh, doesn't get it. So ah. it's, it's, it's tricky for us to you know, pinpoint what it, what's causing it when, you know, usually it's something on the computer that, that is changed or happens that doesn't, you know, Accept that in, in, in the software of Epic Games. Are there any plans to make murderers like red permanent red? Uh, uh, yeah. Any plans to make murderers like permanently red or any reworks to the reputation? Uh, so we talked a little bit earlier about the bounty system that affects the red status of murder. <clears throat> so it's two different systems. The, the standing with nations and it's um, the murder, murder system. Alright, I think we need to bring bring the GM ban hammer. Oh yeah. I agree. Bring it down. Thank you for your time, Henry. Appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, absolutely. You. Thanks a lot. It was amazing. When will we have the next stream? I can see our pen. I think it's time to get up. You are asleep. We've got to work tomorrow as well, guys. So I will see you next time, guys. Have a good night, Henry. Clap it up, Henry. Oh, yeah. Thank you, you so much. Best, best game know. dev. Yeah. I'm with me. Best game dev. How do I clap? How do I clap? Someone tell me how to clap. Where do I clap at? Can I clap? I want to shout for me. Clap? Where do I clap? I just need to clap. Guys. Best game dev. You have the best. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night, bud. Best game!
Alright, you guys know what to do. Oh, oh man, this is too good. Alright. Alright, I see you. I see all you assholes Yo, later. Who's getting that 100 gold head? Oh, he's still here. Oh, alright, oh. I guess you're not leaving. Alright, to pick up bad.